America's religious history began with the arrival of pilgrim settlers to what is now Massachusetts on the Mayflower in 1620. Religious repression motivated the pilgrims to leave Europe for the New World, but there were other groups that came in the 17th century seeking to practice their faith in peace. The religious traditions brought to the place that would become the United States in the 17th century were much more diverse than people generally think. Uh, there was, of course, a very large Protestant community that came from England and from Holland, uh, but at the same time, Catholics arrived in Maryland. There was also a wide variety of Native American beliefs and practices in colonial America. When African slaves were forcibly brought in the 17th century, they came with their religions from their homeland, including Islam. The domination of each tradition depended on the region, uh, and so communities would settle, other members of that same community would follow them. Very often, says the creator, attempts to create homogeneous societies would cause them to break apart and find new territories. Early on, there was this sense that different communities would find different footholds in America in which to live. But over time, the need for these communities to live to together, the diversity of all of them and living in one spot, created the need for some kind of religious liberty, uh, a way in which everyone was given the right to practice freely. Yet, frictions and conflicts arose between different religious groups, says Monceau, leading to the constitutional protection of religious liberties. On the state level, there are, there's continued conflict and agitation for more religious freedom. So even as the federal government of the United States decided that at the federal level, for the nation as a the whole, there would not be an established church, an official church, individual states continued to have official churches. But the idea of religious liberty enshrined in the First Amendment of the Constitution did not take hold right away. It took another 50 years before, across the country, religious freedom was the law of the land. It was only then that minority religious groups enjoyed the same rights as majority churches. Every generation of Americans has to ask this question of what religious free freedom means to each of us anew. And inevitably, as new religious commu communities are established in the United States, these questions are asked again and again. Nicoletta Illich, VOA, Washington, D.C.